they need to be taken care of. And health is of utmost importance. And that brings me to our next two guests. This is Angela and Lynn. They are with Family Medical Counseling. She's the coordinator of the whole thing. Angela is. Lynn's all about the testing. And we're going to get it all in this morning. Good morning. Yeah. Thank you guys so much for coming out. Thank you. And even more for what you do. Thank you. So give me an overview of the organization. So Family and Medical Counseling is a nonprofit organization. We have two locations, one in Southeast Washington, mm -hmm. D.C., and one in Seat Pleasant, Maryland. And our facility focuses on providing holistic care to the entire family. So we provide pediatric services, we provide primary medical care, but then we also provide wraparound services like substance use disorder services and mental health services for people in our community. A big component of that for us is outreach and education and getting the services out in the community. So Lynn, who's been with the company for about 10 years, has been responsible for much of our outreach efforts. I was going to say, one of your challenges is probably just letting people know that you are here exactly. and you are here for them. Exactly, exactly. And making sure that if there are any barriers to care, right. transportation, difficulty finding the site, we can go to your community and we can provide the services right where you live. So we have about three large-scale mobile units that we use in the community that we can take the service to you. HIV testing, we can do Hep C testing, COVID testing, and right now, which is really important, is COVID vaccine. So you right. see I have my shirt on. I, I got, I got it. It. Since you are the testing coordinator, yes. talk a little bit more specifically about that. So testing for us is obviously one of our, our main focuses at Family and Medical because it helps bring people in the door for us. Obviously, our medical department is extremely important, pediatrics, but when we're out in the street, it gives people a face to the agency. So that's what really significant for us is making sure that we're out there showing people that we're there to help support them, re-engage them in care if they've been lost to care, test them with all of the components of testing that we offer for them, and just to make sure that they know that we're here. Family and medical is about the family from the cradle to the grave. Well, we I'm glad sure we you brought that. up the cradle. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we expanded the pediatric program and yes. you've got a big push just for vaccines in general, not Absolutely. just COVID, but getting Absolutely. kids back to school and in school. Yes. So we're actually out in the community now. We get several different requests to come out into the community. That's why our mobile units are so important because we can pull up to where you are. We can meet you where you are, get your, your students, your, your organizations, anything that you need vaccinated. But obviously with our children, it's a huge component to get them to get them vaccinated, excuse me, not tested. Yeah. And make sure they get what they need for school. Well, the good thing is you can get vaccinated and you can get tested. Yeah. Because they're All of it. And <laughs> you heard them talk about yeah, it's important for them to put faith with the services so I want you to remember these faces look at all these faces right here family medical services as I started it by saying thank you for what you do they You're truly welcome. are angels here on earth and they are keeping our community safe all right back to you guys